the name of the gathering. I, I, that came because it came to me clear and I was sleeping one night. It's like about a week and a half before we executed it. And I just wake up and I just get my book, just like I have my book beside me right now. And I just start write everything. It needs to be a healing. Helping each appreciate love is necessary to grow. So wake up and live was the name of the celebration. You know? And I went down and I talked to the, the young dons. And then I also had to talk to the police because the police had now occupied the space with guns and everything had an office base there. And when I went to talk to the police, the policewoman said, first of all, everybody else, when I told them about the idea, they're like, Denisha, are you crazy? Why are you going down to Tivoli? Don't you remember that those are the same people that tried to kill your grandfather? You don't need to go down there right now. And I'm saying, but <laughs> it's an inspiration that come, you know, so... My father even said to me, my father said, well, if you want to go down to Tivoli, you know, you're going to have to ask the Prime Minister um, for a permission. So I said, no, <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask nobody for permission, actually. I'm just going to tell everybody what I'm going to do. So I go down there and I went to the police station and I told the police lady, you know, what it is that I, that I wanted to do. And she was like, please, come. Because nobody has come to, 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 to try to heal these people and these children. And we can't heal them because we are the same ones that hurt them. And we went down there and we did three days of activity. We cleaned up a space and painted the walls, planted some seeds for some healing herbs. And, you know, it was just a great energy. We did some filmmaking workshops. We showed us a film. We did some football dominoes. It was just an amazing day, you know. And then, <laughs> you know. And then when we were getting ready to leave now, a police, two policemen came to me and one of them, you know, they both had their big M16s and one of them said, you know, so you've been, been here and you know, you did a good job with the youths them. So when are you going to come back and heal us too? Hmm. Hmm. And before that time, I never really check it, you know, because just look at them as Babylon and guns and they're the enemies. But you know, that, that just opened up a whole different scope in my mind because I realized that we are really not as different as we think we are, you know. Because when, you know, one of, one of them started to talk, the next one started to talk and, and it was like, you know, it's crazy because as a youth, I used to run up and down in Tivoli and my family moved to a different area, you know. So me having to come back into this same community to do this kind of damage. It really is psychologically traumatizing you know, because after the Tivoli Gardens incident happened, a lot of policemen killed their children and their wife and then killed themselves, you know. And this kind of thing had never happened in Jamaica before. Like, you don't kill your family and then kill yourself. You know, so... I don't know, boy. The people have a lot of healing to do. That is the truth. You know, we have a lot of healing to do.